What's up, Commodores fans? I'm Sean Oldred, Director of Broadcasting for the Commodores this upcoming summer. I am joined today by Tommy Mumau, our web reporter from last year, our returning web reporter this season. Tommy, how you doing? I'm doing great, Sean. Thanks for having me. Excited for it. We're excited to have you back. I know everybody that was with the Commodores last summer is very, very excited that you are coming back. Tommy, from last summer, if you had to pick a favorite part of being on the Cape last year, what would it have been? That's a tough one. There are so many things. I mean, you know, what I remember the most is we had a great intern group, right? And uh, we had a lot of fun, went to Fenway a couple times and, uh, you know, just hanging out, um, you know, outside of the field, we all became pretty close and, um, you know, just going to games every day too is uh, also a lot of fun. I mean, you know, obviously the talent that's on the Cape. So, uh, loved every minute of it and excited to come back. Yeah, I think that's a great point. I mean, we had a pretty incredible group of interns we worked with last summer. I know the group coming in is excited to start, and uh, I'm sure they will be just as exceptional. Um, so what have you been doing, Tommy, since the end of last season? Obviously, you covered the Commodores all of last summer, um, banging out articles left and right. What have you been up to since then? Yeah, well, I've been continuing to write. I'm the sports editor at the newspaper here at school. Um, at Ithaca College, and uh, I've been busy with that, was the assistant sports editor last semester, and then uh, now I'm the head sports editor, so I'm excited for that, and uh, yeah, just been covering um, Ithaca College athletics, and it's been a good time. Awesome, awesome stuff. So tell me, last summer, you covered the Commodores, obviously. What's the day in the life of a web reporter like for a Cape Cod Baseball League team? Um, Kind of walk us through that schedule. Yeah, so in the morning I would get up and um, I actually had a job in the summer. Um, I actually worked at the hotel where we stayed at. So I get up, work there for a couple hours, uh, then I have lunch and then we'd head over to the field around like three, four o'clock, depending on, you know, maybe a little earlier if we were going to an away game. And, and then, yeah, you know, cover the game that night and get up the next day and do it all over again. But you know, I mean, we love baseball, so it was a dream summer. I loved every minute of it. Doesn't get any better than the talent on the Cape, you know, the talent both on the field and off the field. Um, it's a great time, you know, from start to finish. Are there any Commodores players that are coming back this season um, that we had last season that you're looking forward to seeing kind of the progress that they've made in the offseason, along with just getting to see those guys again? Yeah, there's definitely a ton. I mean, taking a look at the roster, a lot of the starting lineup um, is coming back. You know, uh, Jace Borfin, Brain Taylor, Luke Boyers, Cody Cole, the Maui Ahuna. So um, I'm excited to see all those guys because they obviously all had a big impact last year. And uh, I know that you did that video with Anthony DeFabi as well, tied for the Cape League, uh, you know, the, the leader in wins. So uh, lots of people I'm excited about coming back. A lot of great guys. And yeah, it should be fun. Yeah, it should be a great group returning on the field. A lot of talent there. Obviously, you know, Jace and Braden were all stars on the Cape last summer. Jace was even an all league selection. Um, Anthony leading the Cape League and wins. I mean, a lot of talent coming back this summer. Um, so that's exciting to look out for. Tommy, last question here. We're both yeah. big Yankees fans. Yeah. Any preseason predictions for the Yankees this year, assuming that the lockout ever ends, you know, always like to talk Yankees baseball with you. Yeah, Sean, that's a tough one. I don't know. I mean, certainly we need a shortstop, right? Yankees need a shortstop. So I think it starts there, but I always have faith. I think we'll see a world series. I think Brian Cashman's going to work some magic and the team assembled right now, maybe not a world series team, but I have faith it's going to happen. I absolutely agree with you, Tommy. Put a few more pieces on the field. They've already got a good roster. You know, hopefully maybe we see a, you know, full season of healthy Judge and Stanton and, you know, we're yeah. able to finally get 28. But fingers crossed there. Obviously, you know, we're looking forward to coming back to the Cape this summer. Um, a quick little social plug. Follow the Falmouth Commodores on Instagram and Twitter at FAL Commodores. Um, follow us on Facebook and on YouTube. Um, at Falmouth Commodores. You can find us there. You can also find myself and Tommy on Twitter, keep you updated on all things Commodores at Tommy Moomow 13 and at Sean Oldred 15. 
So we're looking forward to seeing all of you back at the Gov in about four and a half months. Doesn't seem that far away now. And this has been opening the door.